Hello fellow Star Wars fans, my name is Star Raptor and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to be reviewing two Star Wars comics, one from Dark Horse, one from Marvel. Going back in time for the both of these, we have Yoda issue number 5. We are halfway through the Maxi series. This is kind of the second arc of this Maxi series, of course written by Jody Hauser with the legendary artwork of Luke Ross. Now this is Students of the Force Part 2, Growing Shadows, and these storylines are fleshing out Yoda in the present time. It's like right before Luke shows up on his doorstep, so he's kind of looking back at his life and different things like that. And he has one noticeable adventure here with these Jedi initiates sometime before the Phantom Menace. We have this trio of initiates that kind of pal around a lot. We have a Trandoshan, we have a Wookiee, and we have some kind of tiger type of species. And well, in the previous issue, this Wookiee has had visions and horrible, violent visions. And he asks Count Dooku for help, and Count Dooku says Yoda will never help you with that. Um, and Dooku said, hey, I have a friend that used to do a Cypher Diaz. He's had these visions, the Jedi didn't care, and now he's kind of doing his own thing. So anyway, we pick up in this next issue, in issue number five, part two of this series. And, well, we have these kids. Uh, well, first off, we have a flashback of how this Trandoshan Force Sensitive gets discovered, which ends up 12 years being the friend of this Wookiee and this tiger type of species. And it's interesting because they go to Kashyyyk and there's the Wookiees versus the Trandoshans. It's an age old battle. The Wookiees are always getting hunted by the Trandoshans. And well, it's interesting to see a Wookiee kind of feeling sentiment for a young Trandoshan arrival to their clan. It's force sensitive. Yoda takes him back. And that's how we get the story. It's how Yoda tells the Wookiee who gets a little bit angry, is a little bit perturbed about different things because the visions are kind of enabling him to be a little bit more begrudging against this relationship with this Trandoshan who's sworn to be his enemy, essentially. So then Yoda brings all the initiates to a planet to go adventuring and solve some problems. He goes away, and that is when we have another vision for the Wookiee, and the Wookiee does lash out in reality at the Trandoshan. Looks like he's about to kill him, and that's where this issue leaves off. So I like this issue because it really gets into the characters. I believe this tiger-type species is a character that we've seen, the same character, in fact, that we've seen in Age of uh, the Rebellion series or whatever it is, not Age of Resistance, uh, the one for the prequels. We'll, we'll talk about, we'll, we'll put it there for that one. I believe Jody Hauser wrote those as well, so that's a pretty cool connection there. Um, but yeah, I like the idea of getting this ground broken between Trandoshans and Wookiees, seeing that there can be peace between them, seeing how the Wookiees look at the Force and Force sensitivity, you know, that's a big thing in Jedi. It's it's neat seeing Yoda having that experience of taking a youngling, and or a young, very, like, uh, basically looked like a newborn, not even a newborn, but a toddler, right, and, and taking him back, and we always, you know, get those stories about, is it right that Jedi take kids from their families or whatever? In this case, there's nobody that's a parent at this thing, that I guess the parent of this Trandoshan died in that battle, so it's interesting stuff there. Next up, we're talking about the High Republic Adventures Volume 2. This one, of course, is written by Daniel Hazelder with artwork by Tony Bruno. In the last issue, we have the Dank Rax and we have the Pirate Crew of Maz Kanata. They both swap ships inadvertently, and now they want the Pirates of Maz Kanata, obviously, want to get their ship back. They track the Dank Rax, who are a force sensitive cult, if you will, um, to this planet where they're trying to make a deal with the Graphs to basically have these eviscerator ships that they control. And the eviscerator ships are being able to control by force sensitive, so it's very cool. And we've seen the eviscerator ship in Midnight Horizon, which Daniel Jose also wrote, and that was from the phase one of Star Wars The High Republic, which was, we know, is 150 years in the future from this storyline. So it's really cool that we got to see a glimpse of that, and now we're actually seeing them there. And through this whole battle and everything else, um, between the Dank Rax and the Pirates of Maz Kanata, um, they are having to run away the pirates. And then in doing so, we have Sav Malagan, who is that Padawan that's pretended to be a pirate, uh, kind of left her master. Her master's getting kind of perturbed. She does a little prank. Anyway, she ends up at the end of this issue stealing, or I don't know if stealing, maybe borrowing is a better word, an eviscerator to go ahead and try to infiltrate the Dankrax. She wants to pretend to join the Dankrax. In doing so, uh, will hopefully save their pilot that's currently on that ship still, and it's Maz Kanata's ship, and she just simply wants it back. So, very cool story here. We get a little bit more information on one of the crew members. His name is uh, Alak, or Alak, and he 
has a connection also to Dan Hazelder's other book, Midnight Horizon, where he is a son of a Scarlet Skull. I mean, this really cool story about how he, you know, Scarlet Skull kids are these murderous kids. Literally, they're, they're, to- they're painted different face colors and they're out there to go kill people. It's really horrible. Anyway, he a- is able to escape this organization and then reenacts his revenge and kills everybody and then saves his little sister who ends up being one of these pirate crew, part of the pirate crew, this silent girl. Anyway, I thought it was pretty cool. Nice ambush there. And it's just nice seeing the, the Dank Rax. You got Immune. You have a Geonosian. You have a Zabrak. It's just a great kind of combination of really cool species in Star Wars. So, yeah, two really good comics that came out this week. What did you think about them? Let me know in the comment section down below. For more on Star Wars, you are anywhere right place. I've been following The Mandalorian. I've been putting out companion videos for that. I have just reviewed Star Wars Jedi Battle Scars as well as Star Wars Hunters battle for the arena so make sure you go ahead and check out those video reviews that's gonna do it for me star but thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always thanks for checking out the video please hit that thumbs up symbol it helps me know that i'm making content that you guys enjoy and if you enjoyed this video i also include two videos down below you guys should check out and please consider subscribing to this channel it helps support me and it notifies you guys of when i get new videos up on the channel you can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.